Welcome everybody for this Vastari Connects webinar. Um, we're delighted that you're joining us today from wherever you are in the world to talk about art travels, the um, standards, technology, and debates in the role of art couriers. Or our um, working title, the question we're asking ourselves is, why does an artwork need a courier to travel with it when you have technology? And of course, this uh, subject has become quite has come to the fore quite a bit over the last year because of the fact that due to the pandemic, many people couldn't travel or there were um, prohibitive rules regarding quarantines, et cetera. So remote couriering and installation was much more uh, popular and technology tools have developed to assist in that. And what you could argue is then saying, well, why are we going back? There are particular um, benefits to using technology for this. But of course, there are also many apprehensions to using technology and benefits to using art couriers that have been used for decades. So we will talk about all of this today and explore those different drivers and then hopefully come to a bit of a conclusion of where the industry is going in the future. The structure of this call is that we'll just have brief introductions from each of our panelists, followed by a panel discussion uh, for about 30 minutes, and then some time for Q&A at the end. Uh, we'd love to hear from everyone in the room, given everyone's expertise. And um, we'll make sure to end by the end of the hour so that you can go on with your day and do whatever you're hoping to do today. So without further ado, I'd love to introduce Claire Mitchell to give us the first introduction. Hello everyone, uh, thanks Bernadine. Uh, yes, so my name is Claire Mitchell and I'm the director of Mitchell Heritage Limited. Um, so I have uh, a collections care and management is my specialist and I've gained this uh, from over 20 years of working in the heritage sector. Um, major projects management involving decants, protecting in situ and heritage supervision is a significant part of uh, my consultancy work. Um, main sort of clients that I work with at the moment are the Alphonse Mucker Foundation, the Stanley Spencer Gallery and the Palace of Westminster. I probably should say that I am based in Southampton in the UK just to, to clear that one up so you'll see that all of my um, uh, clients are sort of UK based. I'm also the curator of art at Southampton City Art Gallery in Southampton which is on a part-time basis. Um, it's there and also the Alphonse Mucker Foundation that I'm in responsible for the management of a very busy loans out program. Um, and I have acted myself as a courier for many works of art, both nationally and internationally um, at different venues. Um, and this you know, requires me to oversee, do the advising and acting upon the handling, transportation, condition checking and installation of the works of art under my um, custodian. My experiences as a courier uh, have all been pre-pandemic, but I have dealt with both virtual and physical couriers recently. Plus I've had to think about how we are going to deal with large scale exhibition installations virtually. The latter is an exhibition in Taiwan for the Alphonse Mucker Foundation, um, which is a consignment of over 200 works of art that we're gonna be lending to an exhibition. The majority of these works are very straightforward in their handling, in their condition, and also their installation requirements. But there are a number of works which are in this consignment, um, which do require that sort of experience and that knowledge uh, of their careful handling and of their complex installation in particular, just due to their sort of sheer size, their sort of weight because of the, the glazing and, and also the very ornate frames that um, surround them. So as a foundation, we tend to send a courier uh, to oversee the uh, installation of these artworks. Um, and especially because of the sheer quantity of the works as well, it kind of sort of aids that smooth installation process. Um, and also due to the fragility and of the complex nature of some of their requirements. And also our rigid requirements to do with the environmental conditions because a lot of the works that we lend are works on paper. So do require very sort of strict guidelines when it comes to environmental control. So having that sort of courier on site to oversee that to make sure they're abiding by our loan conditions is really important to us as 